The majority of oncology patients die not of the primary tumor, but of its metastasis, secondary tumors, formed by cells having separated from the primary tumor. Most frequently, the primary tumor suffers from the lack of oxygen, which causes stress and launches the mechanism of metastasis. There is a theory that primary tumor, using continuous molecular signal, prepares an advantageous surrounding in a sound tissue before the first cancer cell is delivered by the bloodstream to a proper place. The primary tumor releases exosome, which are bubbles covered by a lipid membrane, which dimension of 5 to 100 nanometers. Exosomes can contain some protein and RNA inside. During the hypoxia and due to stress, some tumor cell can transform and penetrate into surrounding tissue. During this process, called tumor cell invasion, a tumor cell undergoes some changes. The cell changes its form and now it has a preferential direction. After that, special receptors appear of the membrane and the protein myosin 2 is activated which makes the cell move. Whereafter, the hind part of the cell separates from its surrounding and draws to its front part. The cell leaves the tumor and starts traveling in the bloodstream. Without any special molecular mechanism, the cells suffer from influence of unfavorable physical conditions and is attacked by the immune system. For example, a rather big cancer cell can plug a blood vessel and launch an inflammatory response. In this case, the apoptosis mechanism is launched and the cell is attacked by the immune system cell, which stops the spread of metastasis. To survive in the bloodstream, cancer cells activate coagulation cascade in form, platelet-protecting shield. The key molecules, the synthesis of which on the cell surface launches coagulation are considered the blood coagulation factor and membrane phospholipid phosphatidylserine. Phosphatidylserine creates advantageous surface for platelet adhesion. As a result, a cancer cell is covered by platelet-protecting shield, which helps it travel with bloodstream and form new tumors. Thrombosis symptoms are directly measured up against the process tumor development and metastasis and worsen both cancer therapy and chances for recovery. It is considered that in a bloodstream, a cancer cell acts like a leukocyte penetrating throughout the blood vessel wall. Usually the metastasing process is rather aggressive and highly probably leads to patient's death within a short period. However, sometimes the organism can get into the equilibrium with tumor process without suppressing it completely but on the other hand, without letting the tumor destroy the organism. Without blood vessel growth, any accumulation of metastasizing cells cannot turn into fully functional tumor. Thus, the cell release blood vessel growth factor alpha and form precursors of endothelial cells. These tumor blood vessel branches too often, and dead end capillaries without blood circulation can appear. Thus, tumor cells suffer from the lack of nutrient materials and hypoxia, which cause stress and leads to the further metastasis. Yet we can hope that with all that new knowledge about biology of tumor growth inhibitors metastasis process will be found and will help an oncological disease therapy.